Hi, I'm Anthony Gettig, full-time working voiceover talent, and in this video I'm going to show you how to normalize audio in Pro Tools. But first, what is normalizing and why do we do it? Well, normalizing, what you do is you take your waveform, your, your, your finished waveform, your finished audio in Pro Tools, and you say, okay, what, what do I want to be the loudest part of this audio? In voiceover, a lot of times you'll say, you'll hear people say, oh, well, normalize that to minus three. Oh, yeah, it's, you know, I always normalize to minus three. That's fine. Minus 3 dB is totally fine. So what normalizing does is it analyzes your file and says, okay, what's the loudest part of this audio? And I'm going to make everything, I'm going to make the loudest part of this minus 3 dB. And everything else is either going to come up or go down relative to that loudest part. So if you have low levels, a lot of times recording digitally, uh, folks will record with lower volume levels, knowing that they can turn it up later. That's, that's great. You got everything all ready. Last thing you do, consolidate it all in Pro Tools into one clip, and then normalize it to minus three. And it'll bring up the loudest part to minus three and everything else with it. Now, if your audio is too loud, it can go the other way too. So it would bring it down to minus three. And, um, but if it's, if it's too loud, you may have other issues like digital clipping, but most of the time you're going to be uh, raising the volume. So why do we do this? Well, mainly for consistency, because uh, the person using your audio after you, so if you're sending it on to a producer or a prod house or, or whatever, they need to have decent levels to work with. And it's, it's, it's mostly for consistency. And with that, let's jump into Pro Tools and see how to normalize. Okay, here we are in Pro Tools. We have a little bit of audio recorded. This is just Mary Had a Little Lamb. And you can see the levels here. Let me zoom in a little bit. And uh, we'll see that yeah, they're okay, right? So maybe you've got multiple clips. I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. You've done all your editing. You've done all your, you know, this, that, and the other. And tucking things in nice and neat and and what have you. And so, okay, now, now it's time to actually send this off, right? I want to go ahead and consolidate everything. That's a different video. And I'm going to normalize this. Very simply, go up to Audio Suite, Other, and down to Normalize. And then the plugin opens. I'll bring that up here. And you can set the number right here. So if, say I wanted to do minus 3 dB, hit Enter, and it sets it to that. I did this and actually just saved it as a default. I gave it a default of minus 3 and saved it as a factory preset. So... But uh, let me go back to factory default. And again, you're just going to click in here to this number, type minus three, hit enter. Now watch what happens to the waveform. You ready? Hey, look at that. Let me undo that so you can see. It actually took everything and raised up the volume. And there you go. That's really it. That's how you normalize in Pro Tools. 